Today's project is the John Deere F725 front mower with the 54-inch deck. The F725 is the gas-powered version of this lawnmower. F735 is diesel. Sometimes I wish I had the diesel, but this Kawasaki motor in here has been absolutely perfect. I wouldn't trade it for anything. The only actual work I've ever had to do to the engine is um, the valve covers, which are plastic. I ended up replacing those as well as the little o-ring seals on them. They were starting to leak oil. But other than that, it's just been regular maintenance, you know, plugs, air filter, oil changes. Um, I think I'm on my second battery. But the work needing to be done right now is all on the blade deck. I haven't been able to use this mower in, oh, I think two or three months. I've been stuck cutting grass with the horrible little Troy belt over there. It takes me about three times longer to cut the lawn with that than it does with a John Deere, but I've been having to save up money for the parts. Um, basically it's just, I had a, a bad spindle, and while I'm at it, you know, when I had bought a new uh, idler pulley, because I, that one was just, the bearing has gone out in it, and it's, even though it would spin free and everything, it, it was just getting real hot and making a loud racket the whole time I'd mow. So, it's definitely time to replace that. I uh, went ahead and bought a new belt, as well as new blades. And the lawnmower only has, I don't know if you can see that, 609 hours. And that is correct. This lawnmower was leased to a car dealership for the first three years of its life. Of course, brand new, it was over $9,000. And I bought it after they turned it in and leased a zero-turn lawnmower for their car dealership. I bought it for $5,700, I believe it was. And, I mean, I've used it mowing some lawns here and there as a side job, but never full-time, so hours have been pretty low. And ever since I've been driving trucks for a living. Um, it's just basically been cutting this one acre yard here. But I mean, everything works on it. I definitely need to get a seat next. But I will never give this lawnmower up for anything. You couldn't give me a zero turn mower. I would much rather have that blade deck sitting out front where I can mow up underneath things. Um, I mean, you can sit there and mow up underneath people's decks and stuff with this. And since it actually has a steering wheel that actually turns tires, um, I mean, it's still easier to get it stuck than it is just a regular uh, belly mower. but. And that's that's due to the fact the drive wheels are in the middle. So if you ever get in a predicament where it's got more weight on the blade deck and on the steers, you will just spin a tire. But it does have a differential locker, so that helps a little. And if you're just stuck on slippery ground, you can pull up on this handle here and lift the blade deck up, and that added weight on the drives will usually get you out of it. But the zero turn mowers, you know, you get them down into a little ravine or something where one tire's spinning, since the drive tires are the way it steers, you just end up getting yourself in more of a mess or going in circles or whatever. <laughs> but I'll, I'll stick to this. It drives like a forklift, basically. Yeah, it even has a huge counterweight on the rear of it. I don't know if you can see that nice counterweight up underneath. Try not to look at the bent trailer hitch. I've, I've been moving too many things with it. <laughs> but let's get started first replacing this spindle. 
I uh, used to be able to buy the spindles just by themselves without the pulley on them, but now apparently this is the only way they sell them, or at least that's all what the people at the John Deere dealer told me. I'm sure the aftermarket's probably got these available now, but I just didn't have the time to go shopping around. But there's the new pulley, there's the old one. Of course, I thought I was going to be able to reuse that pulley on the new spindle, but since they don't sell spindles alone, I'll just keep that as a spare. Um, here's the idler pulley. My brand new, very expensive belt. Of course, old blades sitting on top of the box of new blades. A uh, new idler pulley. I'll show you real quick what this other one was sounding like. I don't have a tripod, so set you down on the truck bed here. But as you can see, it spins freely, but it spins very rough and noisy. And this thing would get scalding hot when you're mowing. Also make a horrible racket the whole time. And let's see. Here's the new one. Of course, it doesn't spin as free, but it's it's you know nice and smooth and everything. So, being that this is the original, that's lasted from '97 until 2012. If I can get that much life out of this one, or even half of that, I'm happy. But go ahead and get started. Installing the spindle and idler pulley, and then I'll get to that belt. And then after that, uh, I'll install the new blades. New spindle and new idler pulley are now both installed. Now I've just got to remove the belt and replace it with a new one. Then we'll raise this blade deck back up and install the brand new blades, and I'll be ready to cut the lawn. The new belt is installed. It's actually easier to install the belt if you remove the blade deck from the lawnmower, but I just leave it on. So, like I said, it's a little harder to do, but faster time-wise. So, as you can see, new belt on. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and install the new blades. You can see the one blade's already removed because uh, you know that's the brand new spindle, but the other ones should come off no problem. Then we'll get those new blades installed, grease up everything, and get to work mowing the yard. I just finished installing the brand new blades. Uh, it's very hot out here, so I, I took a couple breaks, but I did have to heat up the other two bolts for the blades, and then hit them with the impact wrench, and they came right out. So. And of course the, the brand new one was no problem whatsoever installing. But now I'm going to lower the jack down and go ahead and grease the spindles and everything up. Um, put some new fuel in it and get started cutting the yard. I just finished cutting the entire yard with the John Deere F725 front mower. And after replacing the blades, the one spindle and one idler pulley, as well as the belt, it cuts like new again. So now the Troy built spare lawnmower can be put away again. So that's it for today. I was hoping to get back to work on my Jeep, but I don't know if you can hear all that thunder. We got some big storms building. At least the lawnmower's finished and the yard's cut. I think I'm going to get out of this lightning. Thanks for watching.